hello friends welcome back to laravel 11 tutorial in this video we are going to discuss about a complete concept of laravel migration you know that migration is used to create or update or delete the table and if you want to change some structure in a table you can use the migration okay so in this video we are going to discuss about from very basic to the advanced level of laravel migration okay so for this so i just installed a laravel 11 application and this is the new fresh uh, scaffolding of laravel application and here i just created a laravel 11 database means my database name is laravel 11 actually we will connect this laravel 11 database with my application and we will uh, access this database to uh, learn about the migration so let's configure database with my application and after that we'll do all the things okay so to configure with the database we know that in our dot env file we are using mysql and we are using the database name database username password so here my host name is okay no problem and my database name is laravel 11 and username is root and currently my password is blank so easy database configuration part is ready now if you check in the uh, folder section you will get the database okay so inside the database we have migrations so here you can see some uh, inbuilt migration present in our laravel application uh, like create user table migration so this is the file name of migration so create user table migration and uh, using this table we can create uh, two three tables like uh, if you check this structure you can understand so basically in the migration file we have a uh, two type of functions uh, one is up function and another is down function okay so when we are uh, going to uh, run a migration is going to going to migrate it something the up function will run and if you want to delete that migration means so whatever we run i thought uh, the migration was not proper so we can uh, revert back using the rollback command so that time the down function will run so up is to migrate and down is to revert so that's enough for now okay now so what is inside the up function so in up function we have a schema create function so schema is the facets laravel facets so we are using schema so using the schema we can create a table so this is the create functions and the functions first parameter is the table name and here you can see the closer functions and inside the closer function we can define our columns means look into this uh, block only so for this block actually it will create a users table and in the users table we will have these columns means table id so this is the inbuilt function for laravel actually these are responsible to create a column id uh, which will be primary key and auto incremented okay next if i want to create any varchar type of things or text type of things then we can use this so this is a table string and this is the another column the column name is name this is the email and if you want to make that is unique so you can use the unique functions so this is the functions so using this function will we can uh, make any column unique and by using the null level function we can make the column as null level and the remember tokens the interesting thing is the timestamps so when we going to use that things basically these timestamps we will create are uh, two types of column means one is created at and another is updated at okay so this is the common uh, structure migration structure and another table in the same way we can use multiple tables in the same migration okay no problem on that so when this migration will run at the same time this one two and three this is the users password reset token and session the three table will create and if you roll back then it will call the down function it will actually delete this table okay so this is the migration now how to migrate 
so here you can see the another migration create cache tables create jobs table okay so these are the inbuilt migration okay so we'll discuss uh, when you create our new migration or our custom migration we can understand in more clear so let's migrate that things and we can understand our database connection was proper or not so simple uh, if you want to migrate so simply just write php artisan list let's see the what are the available commands uh, to use okay so you can see the list so here if you want to uh, create a migration simply just make comment inside the make comment you will get this migration it will use create a new migration files and there are another comments for migration so if you just go to the migrate section you can see the migrate phrase migrate installation migrate refresh reset rollback so you can understand uh, by reading this comment so drop all the tables and rerun all migrations dangerous comment so in a live server never use these things so when you are going to create a new application first time you can use that things actually it's changing the database table means uh, by using the migrate refresh command it will drop all the tables and run all the migrations so if you have some data in your tables it will not revert back actually it will drop the tables and create a fresh new table okay so if you have a data into your table so don't use that things okay so migration install so create a migration repository sometimes uh, laravel plan to have uh, sometimes the migration uh, repository you are not appear means inside the database uh, the migrations folder not appearing then you can uh, use that thing so migrate install so it will create a migration repository okay so migration reset that is the reset and rerun all migrations then rollback we can use the rollback rollback the last database migrations okay and status is the sole status of the each migration okay so let's run the migration so simply use php artisan migrate so it will actually uh, migrate all the migrations tables means all the migrations files so here you can see the three files it will migrate so enter this okay so you can see the creating migration table so first time when you create any migration or when you migrate then the migration table will create then the migration will run so what actually happened so if you check in the database section you will get some tables that is you are getting nine tables okay so if you check in your um, migration files so you are getting three tables from user migrations and two tables from the cache so total five and six and seven table and eight table okay but if you check so here you are getting nine tables so what are the extra table actually the extra table is the migration table let's see the migration tables what is inside the migration table so these are the default table when you're going to create any or when you're going to run any migration first time it will uh, create this table and this table purpose is to manage what the migration is done or what are not and in which step in which batch the migration is ran so if you just go here you can see so here the three files that is the file name actually if you check you can see this is the file name this table are migrated and this is the batch one okay now if you are just going to migrate again now let's want to migrate again maybe intentionally or wrongly so if you just write these things it says nothing to migrate the reason is that when we run this php artisan migrate that time it will check this migration are already ran or not if not ran then it will uh, check from here and it will execute okay you can understand what is the purpose of my table and this is the batch one means in the same batch it's running running 
and if you want to uh, create a new migration and rerun another migration then it will uh, create a batch 2 batch 3 in this way okay so if you roll back uh, actually it will roll back in the in this way reversely means uh, if you have batch 1 2 3 4 5 then if you roll back then 1 2 3 4 will stay the last uh, batch means the last batch number is 5 so 5 batch will delete okay so i'll show you no problem so these are the basic migration and you can understand how to run this now if i i just going to roll back means how to roll back so php migrate roll back so if you uh, run this command uh, you can see in your database there is no table present but only migrations is present but no migration ran yet so there's a reason this file is blank okay so rerun the migration and you can see again this will appear okay so these are appear so you can understand the purpose of rollback right now i want to create our new migration so laravel by default creating this eight stable and uh, migration stable so laravel by default creating nine stable now i want to create our own table means i want to you create a block stable okay so how we can do this so simply uh, we can create our new migration so let's see we have uh, three migrations so i am just uh, closing this now and let's create another migration so how to create a migration so simply write php artisan make migration okay and i will create a blocks table so simply write create blocks table okay now just enter this it will create a new migration sorry what is the problem make uh, sorry spelling mistake make migration sorry and it will create a new migration so if you just go here you can see create blocks table okay so just open this you can see there is the two functions up and down so up function will create the blocks table and down functions will delete the blocks table okay now if i just run the migration php artisan migrate then it will create a migration so if you check here and inside the migration table you can see a new migration is created and batch 2 okay so if you just go here you can see the block stable is created and it's batch 2 now if you check or if you roll back now so what happened if you just uh, roll back then only batch 2 will delete means you can see the blocks are deleted also the batch 2 is deleted if you roll back again then also batch 1 will be deleted and the related uh, tables which are created from these uh, files or these migration all will be deleted so let's uh, migrate again and then blocks table will appear okay now uh, let's see the structure so this is the blocks table migration blocks create table migration so here we have not done anything we have not added any columns so by default laravel provide these two things table id that is i already said the table id is uh, responsible to create a new column in the blocks table and the column name will be the id and uh, it will be the primary key and auto incremented and timestamps is responsible to create it at and update it at the two column will create by using these things so let's see in the blocks table so if you just go to the structure you can see there is three column is created id that is the auto incremented and the primary key and created at and updated at so these things are deleted but uh, this table has no purpose so i want to roll back again and i want to create uh, something or create some column uh, here okay so simply just php artisan migrate rollback okay so blocks table is now deleted and now i want to add some columns 
let's say I want to uh, add two column so table uh, string I want to add uh, blocks title so simply write title and I want to add another things uh, let's say uh, the description no problem so block should have a description so simply this will be the long text so I just using the text and here write description C R I P T I O N description okay now if I just uh, going to migrate PHP artisan migrate so it will migrate again and it will create uh, a blocks table with my added column okay so here you can see the title and description is added so you can understand how to create a new um, migrations file and how to create a table now you are working on that things and uh, now the requirement is I want to add a new column means I want to add some author name here so how you can add this so will you delete all the things no I will create a new migration so whenever I need any modification I will create new migrations we will not roll back uh, to the previous okay so I will add a new migration so now I want to add author so just go to the terminal and I want to create another migration so php artisan make migration so these are the common comment okay and I want to add author name so author add author to which table uh, to blocks table so simply write this way the author to the blocks table now a new migration is added so here you can see the blocks table uh, the add author to blocks the thing is when we created the create blocks table then it will create the schema but when we going to add some column and uh, then it will not create the schema it is schema table it's not creating its schema table okay so this is the difference it means if you just uh, use the create it will create another blocks table but I don't want to do that I want to add some column into the existing table okay so this is the difference when you create a new table and when you're going to modify or add or delete or whatever so then this is the another things now I want to add the author so simply uh, I just uh, going to write in this way table and you write string and suppose uh, these are the author okay now uh, if I just uh, going to run this so let's uh, do the wrong things and after that I will uh, show you what's wrong and what should be now uh, the string sorry the author column will create and what will be the down means if I revert back the author column should delete right so here simply write a dollar table and use drop column c-o-l-u-m-n dot column uh, and then the column name is author right now let's add this and let's see what happened so simply write php artisan migrate enter again it's spelling mistake migrate so author table is added now the thing is author is added in the bottom section but I like to add this author column uh, after the title then how can do this so firstly we wrongly uh, added the last um, the last migration okay so simply just roll back so in rollback author table is deleted why it's deleted because I use the drop column so it's are working now I want to add the author after the title so simply we have a function uh, just write after title so now it will um, add after the title 
so simply write php artisan migrate and again sorry php artisan migrate and what is the problem migrate a m i g r a okay so add author to blocks is ran and if you check here you can see uh, the author is added in the third position means after the title okay so in this way we can add a new column now if i want to change uh, the column name means i want to show you all the things what are the possible or the basic things to start with the laravel okay so now i want to i want to uh, change the column name how we can change this i want to change author to author name how we can change so simple uh, let's create another migration so php artisan make migration migration g r a t i o n okay php addition make migration and simply write rename author columns so it will create a new migration now just go here uh, into the here so here you can see the public functions up okay so better uh, let's remove that things so actually the problem is uh, rename author columns but if i write to the table name then actually it will uh, appear the blocks name okay so the naming convention should be proper means i have to rename i want to add or where to add to blocks so we need to write the blocks so i just removing manually and here uh, i just going to write rename author columns to blocks then if you check it's actually the proper structure is appearing means if you write the proper name then it will appear properly but if you not write properly then uh, you can get the up and down function only but all the related things you need to write no problem you can write but if you write properly then it will appear automatically okay now the purpose is i want to rename the author columns to the blocks table so here simply just write table and here uh, you can write a rename column okay so first will be the what was the previous name means current name author and what needs to be author name means i want to change author to the author name okay and when we uh, roll back then it will be the reverse so first it will be author name and then it will be author means it will uh, back to the previous state okay now just uh, run the migration so simply write php artisan artisan migrate now let's look at the table so simply structure you can see the column is modified so you can understand uh, how to create uh, how to add a new column how to modify columns okay now i want to show you some tricky things means if i want to add some enum enum type column if if i want to add some enum types of columns so how can do this okay no problem i have a solution so uh, uh, create a new migration file php artisan make migration and uh, just write add suppose um, i have to create a new column uh, migration uh, sorry registration type and the registration type uh, the author may be a register and maybe it's guest okay so by default i have to uh, set the guest so the thing is i want to add a registration type g i s T R A T I O N registration type where to the blocks. Okay, let's uh, enter this, and if you just go here, you can see these things. Okay, now uh, I just going to create the enum type of column. Means here, write table. Uh, let's say enum. 
and then the column name the column name is registration gis tri tri registration type and let's make the option as we are uh, giving the enum so we are creating array here so by default not by default the option is guest and the permanent permanent and i want to um i want to make a default means when no value is uh, present or don't provide any value to the registration type uh, it should not throw any error so by default i setting uh, the registration type should be guest okay and if i add these things it will add uh, after the uh, after the updated at but i want to add after the author name so let's set uh, after then author name okay and the reverse things just drop columns so we know how to drop so i just copy from the so drop column and here write registration type okay so if you run then it will create a, a enum column that is a guest parameter the quick column name will be the registration type and if you are down then the registration type will be delete so let's run so php uh, artisan a r t i c s m i great okay now just go here and you can see a new column that is registration type uh, the sh parameter should be or the option should be guest or permanent and the by default guest okay so great now uh, the thing is if i uh, want to uh, change the column type means i want to change uh, the column uh, the thing is you can see the title uh, is 200 or author name is 200 uh, but uh, if i not provide any author then the default is none but i want to make it nullable or if i want to change 200 to 100 then how can i do this so let's create another migration for that and let's see so php artisan make migration so whatever we will do always create a new migration and here write change i don't know which column so simply write some columns but you need to write to the blocks so simply write two blocks okay so i have to change some columns uh, to the blocks so just go here and you can say it here okay so we are getting the structure now i have to change column okay so simply write table uh, string and here i just uh, have a author name is 200 now i just going to make it 100 author name and here write 100 okay and i want to make um, uh, i want to make it's nullable okay so if you not provide anything it should be null and after that let's change for alter command okay let's change so this is the function it will change and now what will be the down function so in the down function we need to make change to the 200 okay so simply write uh, the 200 okay so no problem it should be nullable no problem i am not changing the nullable status okay so um, these are the things author name now i want to add some things suppose uh, if you check the description section so i can make description section also the nullable okay so description section so simply write description and here the description not string it will be the text and just make it nullable okay and we are not changing anything so we are adding some things so we don't need to write the change okay 
and also here write uh, these things show right here text and description actually you don't need to write uh, here okay so it's not 200 it's text and these are the simple things let's take it as, a, as it is okay so now just uh, going to migrate that things so php artisan migrate okay so column already exists duplicate column name description actually uh, the description column is duplicate because i should write change okay change and here let's see anything changes or not no not anything changes and let's see the migrations uh, okay no migration is not ran actually these are getting error so now php artisan migrate and now you can see the change some columns to done now just go here and refresh okay the migration runs successfully and now let's see so we can see the description became null and author name became null okay so we can understand how to do that sometimes if you going to change uh, the column type you may need to install some package so if you just go to the composer dot uh, json file we have a package installed already means doctor in dbal okay so just uh, simply uh, write in this way composer require doctor in dbl okay so this package may need when you are going to change any columns okay so if you don't need then no problem but if you got any error when you migrate that time you can use that or if you got any problem you can put a comment in below comment section okay i will help you no problem on that okay so all the things we need are uh, basic things we have done now i need to go some more advanced things means i need to uh, create some relational database means uh, i should have a another table and in my table there will have foreign key and will relate all the things so how can i do this suppose we have uh, blocks and we have a blocks category so there will have a category id in my blocks table and there will have a separate category table and based on that category we can uh, filter okay so for this we need a proper database relation so how we can do this in migration simple so let's create a new migration first so simply write php artisan make migration and simply write create blog category table okay so first thing first so now just going to create a block category table so here you can see the block category table and i'm just quick adding uh, some things here suppose write table and here write um, string obviously and I just write name okay so these are the category name okay and for relations actually we need uh, the INODB relation okay now if you check uh, what are the type so we are using the my ISM database or if you just going to create INODB relation simply you can uh, type this way so write table uh, engine and simply write uh, here INNODB okay now uh, let's uh, migrate these things so simply write php attrition migrate so blocks category table created and let's go here you can see the inodb is created so we can understand how to create a inodb database so let's uh, change for blocks table i 
and uh, forget to make it a uh, inodb so simply just go to the operations and change into the inodb okay so let's save that things uh, sorry uh, let's save here and it should make into the inodb okay so these are the inodb database now uh, i just going to add uh, in the blocks table we just going to add the category id which will refer the blocks category table id or the, you can say yes the blocks category id okay now uh, let's create another migration uh, to add some column name into the blocks table so simply write php artisan uh, make migration and here write add category id to the blocks table right so new migration is created now here just go and define uh, in this way so here just write uh, the dollar table and here write unsigned on S I G N E D unsigned big integer and here write the category ID okay so I will add this category ID the last of the column so we don't need to write after or even write after the descriptions means I have to add uh, the things after the description so it will looks good no problem on that so after description okay and i want to create the foreign key means i want to create the table uh, foreign f o r e i g n okay and here the foreign key will be the category id and it will actually reference so simply write reference r e f e r e n c s references the id from where id on blocks category table okay so just write the blocks category table so blog category great now if i just down then i will i want to delete that things means simply write table drop foreign and add some constant name so simply write uh, block category id blogs category id foreign okay so this is the constant name okay and finally we need to drop the column uh, which i created category id so simply write table and just use the drop column it's easy and the column name will be the category id okay so let's run this php artisan migrate okay so it's running now if i just uh, going to check uh, a new column that is the category id is added which actually the foreign key and actually it references these things means if i just going to uh, see the relations so sorry this is the block category table if we just see the relations uh, then you can see this is the category id which are related to the block category id table so we can do it uh, using the migrations okay so how we can do this so you can understand we can uh, create the um, foreign relations with these things okay now i want to add uh, some new things actually i don't want to uh, make this video larger i want to i want to give you all migrations related concept so i want to add uh, i want to add some indexing means if i want to uh, make the title is unique or if i want to make uh, the registration type is uh, 
with index i have to add the constant the index so how you can do this so i will to create a simple uh, new migration so php artisan make migration so every time you will create a migration so that it will help very much okay so add index uh, to the blocks table okay so new migrations is created now i uh, just uh, write in this way so simply write table um write unique unique u n i q u e i have to make unique uh, title okay so simply write title also i have to make uh, another things i have to make a index on registration type so simply write a dollar table index register means i want to show you how to make a unique key how to make an index okay so we have to show you all the things okay so just copy these things and just add the drop so here write drop unique and here write drop index okay so let's run this php addition migrate then it will uh, migrate okay now just go here so you can see this became the index and this became the index actually it will be the unique also so this is all about laravel migrations so what we learn in this video we can learn how database configure what is the purpose of the migration and what is the database uh, what is the migration structure how to run migration uh, how migration actually works means migration table concept and the rollback concept and if you want to create a new migration how can you do this and to add or remove the existing table and to modify the columns and to uh, change the attributes uh, or how to remove or add the foreign keys okay so all the things we covered in this video hope you will like this video so if you got any problem in any time you can comment me in the comment section hope you like this and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and it will be very helpful if you share to your friends so that i will get uh, some motivation from that so thanks for watching this video have a good day bye